Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna show you how to get GoDaddy website hosting and a free domain for a dollar a month. So a year of hosting plus a free domain will only cost you this much versus the usual price of this much. So step one is we're gonna get the discounted link from my resources page. And the link to that is createwpsite.com slash webhost. There should be a link in this actual vid or you can just click below in the description. And once you click this link, it will automatically apply the $1 coupon. And the last thing we need to do is pick our free domain name. All right, so now I got my domain name and then I'm going to click over here on search. Then I'm going to click select and continue. And if you scroll down to the bottom here where the price is, you can see it's only 1218. And that's how you get GoDaddy hosting and a free domain for just a dollar a month. Alright guys, I'm going to continue this video by going through the actual process of setting up the hosting and installing WordPress for GoDaddy. Okay, so this is the payment page and we got the one year hosting and free domain. This is what your price should look like unless you chose to upgrade anything. Now we're just going to click here, click create account. Okay, and now we're just going to fill out this form right here and some of the stuff is going to be uh, blurred out from this point just for privacy reasons. And when you get down to the support pin part too, just put in four numbers that you recognize. And then you guys are also going to want to make note of um, all your account info too. Then we're going to click create account. Okay, and then I'm just going to continue filling out this form. Okay, and then once you guys have everything filled out, this all looks right. You can click uh, save. Okay, and now I'm going to click PayPal. You guys can use whatever method you want to use. I'm just going to use PayPal for this. I'm going to click on authorize on PayPal. Okay, and then I'm just going to log into my PayPal account. Click login. Okay, and then it'll take you back to this page right here, and you can just click Complete Purchase. Alright guys, so what we're going to do next is go back to GoDaddy.com, so we're on the home page. And then we're going to go up here, and we're going to sign in, if you're not signed in already. All right, then you're probably gonna land on a page that looks something like this, but we're gonna click the GoDaddy logo up here, and that'll take us back to the home page once again. Then we're gonna click up here where it says your customer number or name. Then we're gonna go over here to manage hosting. All right, and then we're gonna come here and click these little buttons right there and click the setup button. And then it says select a domain from your account and find your domain and then click next. All right, and then wherever you're at, I'm just going to click North America because it says recommended. Wherever the recommended one is, just uh, select that one. Then when it gets to this part, you want to click yes, let's do it. Okay, and then we're going to make a WordPress username and password. This can be whatever you want. Just make something up for a username and then just make a password and um, make note of it somewhere because this is how you're going to log into your WordPress site. All right, and then after you fill that out, you can click the next button. And when it gets to this part, if you want this, you can get it. I'm just gonna click the skip button. All right, now everything's been uh, successfully installed. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click this no thanks button. 
And now we've successfully installed our website hosting and WordPress. All right, and the next thing we're gonna do is log into our WordPress account. So we're gonna come over here to cPanel admin and click this button. Okay, then we're gonna come over here to your building tools and we're gonna to click WordPress. Now when this page comes up, just click no thanks. And then click okay. All right, and after that, you should now be logged into WordPress, and this is what our dashboard looks like. All right, and before we go any further, guys, I just want to mention something really quick that's important. Whenever you want to log into your actual WordPress account, so you're on your dashboard like we are now, this is what you want to go to. You want to go to whatever your domain is, and then you want to go to slash wp-admin. And when you go there, It'll bring you to this page, and this is where you put in your username and password. Then you log in, and that'll bring you right back to your dashboard.